it's Daffy DeMay with the advantage. Espinito Bello. Momus is going for the inside. Then Hotel de Nord. You jump the last, you win and face the facts. Up the hill towards the finish. It's Daffy DeMay clinging on from Espinito Bello and Momus and Hotel de Nord. Espinito Bello up for another nice win. Espinito Bello has won the opener from Daffy DeMay, Hotel de Nord. And then Momus followed in by face the facts. And you jump the last, you win. It's Daffy DeMay with the advantage. Espinito Bello. Momus is going for the inside. Then Hotel de Nord. You jump the last. You win and face the facts. Up the hill towards the finish. It's Daffy DeMay. Clinging on from Espinito Bello and Momus and Hotel de Nord. Espinito Bello up for another nice win. Espinito Bello has won the opener from Daffy DeMay. Hotel de Nord. And then Momus followed in by face the facts. And you jump the last. You win. Down there, Golden Poet, as Chaco and Poursois is over the last, a long, long way clear up the hill from in second at Cherise, and then Portmore Lock, King Alex, they're well strung out. And uh, there was no anxious moments throughout this two mile toadsbet.com beginner's chase for Chaco and Poursois, who overcomes a considerable absence to win for Paul Townend and Willie Mullins, with Portmore Lock second best. Third at Juries, then King Alex. Down there, Golden Poet, as Chaco and Poursois is over the last, a long, long way clear up the hill from in second at Juries, and then Portmore Lock, King Alex, they're well strung out. And uh, there was no anxious moments throughout this two mile toadsbet.com beginner's chase for Chaco and Poursois, who overcomes a considerable absence to win for Paul Townend and Willie Mullins, with Portmore Lock second best. Third at Juries, then King Alex. Trying to close in between horses, Mr. Blue Sky. Dropping back his advantage point, and up the hill it's Gallant John Joe. Mr. Blue Sky is coming on the outside of Hearts or Trumps. They're inside the last hundred yards. Gallant John Joe on the far side of Mr. Blue Sky. Gallant John Joe, by name and nature, is held. Mr. Blue Sky, third Hearts or Trumps. Advantage point clear from Thunder Down Under, and eased at the finish, Retribution. Trying to close in between horses, Mr. Blue Sky. Dropping back his advantage point, and up the hill it's Gallant John Joe. Mr. Blue Sky is coming on the outside of Hearts or Trumps. They're inside the last hundred yards. Gallant John Joe on the far side of Mr. Blue Sky. Gallant John Joe, by name and nature, is held. Mr. Blue Sky, third Hearts or Trumps. Advantage point clear from Thunder Down Under, and eased at the finish, Retribution. Heading now towards the final fence, and Kaiser Black and Jack Doyle have come up to pick up the running. Heading Camille de Cart as they come towards the final fence, and it is Kaiser Black over, and has raced on from Camille de Cart as they begin the run uphill inside the last 200 yards in the Nace Director's Plate Novice Chase, and it is Kaiser Black and Jack Doyle putting up a good performance here, and up to the line. That was no fluke at Leperstown when he nearly caused a shock. Heading now towards the final fence, and Kaiser Black and Jack Doyle have come up to pick up the running. Heading Camille de Cart as they come towards the final fence, and it is Kaiser Black over, and has raced on from Camille de Cart as they begin the run uphill inside the last 200 yards in the Nace Director's Plate Novice Chase. And it is Kaiser Black and Jack Doyle putting up a good performance here. And up to the line, that was no fluke at Leperstown when he nearly caused a shock. Then comes Jimmy Breaky. Harriet has gone for the inside. Then the big lens as they come up the hill towards the final flight. And Mount Pellier is coming there on the near side to press. Lavertine, then Mary Francis. And then Jimmy Breaky. Harriet, the big lens. Golden Jewel from the back. Then Count Simon away from the final flight. A follower is Jimmy Breaky. Brings down Harriet. It's Mount Pellier in front under Donna Myler. And they've settled it quickly up the hill. And will bring up a fine double for Alan Fleming and owner Barry Connell. As Montpellier draws away to win well from Count Simon, Spiderweb, Golden Jewel, Lavertine, followed in then by Spades or Trumps, the big lens in West Coast time. 
and they're followed by Isle of Hope and Dreams and the conditional and at the final fence pair of brown eyes is over in front a couple of lengths clear up the hill chased by stable companion Isle of Hope and Dreams and then comes the name escapes me Bellow Mom and the conditional up to the line and the Toads Bet Bookmakers Leinster National Handicap Chase it's the same again for pair of brown eyes who will follow up last year's win for Paul Town and Willie Mullins who has the one, two and three with Isle of Hope and Dreams second and Bellow Mom third and they're followed by Isle of Hope and Dreams and the conditional and at the final fence pair of brown eyes is over in front a couple of lengths clear up the hill chased by stable companion Isle of Hope and Dreams and then comes the name escapes me Bellow Mom and the conditional up to the line and the Toads Bet Bookmakers Leinster National Handicap Chase it's the same again for pair of brown eyes who will follow up last year's win for Paul Town and Willie Mullins who has the one, two and three with Isle of Hope and Dreams, second, and Bellow Mom, third. With Elkbridge running on behind these, they're inside the two. Gypsy Island and Darrow Keefe come to pick it up. From Coromandel, Lady Elkbridge is staying on. Behind these is Shantou Bay and Yabo. But it is Gypsy Island coming away up the hill. From Elkbridge, Coromandel, Lady running on. From the back is Valentina Lady. But up towards the line, Gypsy Island is set to confirm her first day's form line. Has won by two and a half lengths with second Valentina Lady. Then Coromandel Lady. Lady and Elkbridge, with Elkbridge running on behind these, they're inside the two. Gypsy Island and Darrow Keefe come to pick it up. From Coromandel, Lady Elkbridge is staying on. Behind these is Shantou Bay and Yabo, but it is Gypsy Island coming away up the hill. From Elkbridge, Coromandel, Lady running on from the back is Valentina Lady, but up towards the line, Gypsy Island is set to confirm her first day's form line, has won by two and a half lengths with second Valentina Lady, then Coromandel Lady and Elk Bridge.